isolation levels module of SQL Server is going on and in this video we will talk about the isolation levels. Isolation levels are used to separate one transaction's modifications from the other transactions and uh, there are five kinds of isolation levels are available in SQL Server. These are read uncommitted, read committed, non-repeatable read, serialization and snapshot. Read uncommitted isolation level is the most least restrictive isolation level. If we will use this isolation level, then all kind of the concurrency problems may occur in this isolation level. Like if we will use this read uncommitted, dirty read will also may happen, lost update also happen, non-repeatable reads problem is also there, and phantom reads concurrency problem can also come in this isolation uh, level. So what is the read uncommitted and uh, this is the read, uh, read uncommitted uh, isolation level example and this is the salesman table and here the, the data of the salesman or the salesman invoice and the uh, value of the invoice. So the user started the transaction and the users want to update this value. He, user requested to update the value and uh, update uh, this table name set gross value is 7300 where invoice number is this one so user want to change the value from 1300 to 7300 and this transaction is going on still not committed a rollback and uh, at the same time another user uh, request to see the value of the this invoice so he requested the uh, query select gross value from the table where invoice number is this one so and uh, the, in the when he requested uh, he got the updated value and this updated values transaction still not completed it's going on so this is the dirty read because maybe the, the first sale, uh, user may not update this value maybe the user will roll back so he rolled back that transaction and now when he rolled back that this transaction the st value still 1300 but this user has got the wrong result because he got the dirty read he got the uh, value during the first transaction is going on so this is the read uncommitted now we will go to the sql server management studio and we will implement this scenario there and we will see how uh, this happens so let's move to the sql server management studio this is a SQL Server Management Studio and this is the one query and this is the another query. So we have two use, uh, queries and in the first query we are using our example database this trading DB and in this database the user will update the value for the salesman invoice. So first we will check what is the current value. This value is right now is 1300. So the first user started the transaction begin transaction and he changed the value from 1300 to 7300 but it's still not updated and meanwhile an other user use in the same database he said the transaction isolation level is read uncommitted and and this first transaction which is still going on and it's not completed the uh, another user by using this isolation level uncommitted he access the same data which the first user is changing so when he ex access this invoice value it's coming 7300 which is just now is changed but it's still not updated but this is the other user got this value which is a dirty read and the user did not update this value he rolled back the transaction so when he rolled back the transaction so actual value is still the same if you will check the actual value it's still 1300 but the other user during the transaction is going on he got this value which is the wrong so this is the by using this uh, isolation level read uncommitted that the dirty read problems may happen 